Welcome back to the Hip Bombs YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a new trigger move I've implemented to help increase the speed of my backswing. I recently posted a video of World Long Drive champion Martin Borgmeier's takeaway. And what we saw was a crazy amount of load in the shaft immediately off the ball. So as he goes back, you can see the shaft bending away from the target, adding a lot of loft to the driver. Now, if we go back further and we break this down, one of the things you'll see is you'll see Martin actually pressing the club into the ground, which helps lean the shaft forward and then as he moves the club back, the shaft rebounds and in a way slingshots the club off the ball. And this is where I started to understand what he was talking about when he says he swiftly takes the club back. We're gonna cut over to a video of him talking about some of the ways that he's implemented this into his swing. A really cool way to showcase how the shaft and the loading and unloading of it actually works throughout the swing is the lag shot. It's actually a tempo trainer, but we can use it for the unloading and loading too. So if you don't have that, you can also use an alignment stick. It works the same way, make sure it's flexible. It's really just to teach you how it works and so, to, so we can give you a better idea of what's actually happening throughout the, the swing and especially the takeaway. So I just put down this kettlebell here just to have a little bit of resistance because I don't wanna go full throttle and swing back. So as I trigger forward, you see that the shaft is not moving right here, but as soon as I trigger and my body is moving that way and I initiate the takeaway, the shaft is actually bending like that. So show again, Boop. goes like this, goes like this. So the shaft is actually bending this direction, which is adding dynamic loft and all that on the way back, but it's really, a very powerful way on the way back to initiate power, strength, and momentum on the way up as we're winding up. You can do exactly the same thing just to visualize for yourself with, a, with, a, with an alignment stick. You can, outdoors, you can stick it in the ground. That's even better. I just try to stick it in here real quick. And it's, it's working exactly the same way. So I trigger forward, and then as my buddy goes back, do you see how how that's loading the shaft. And that's really what we want to create to wind up and eventually have all these benefits on the way down as well. Really well said, thank you for that, Martin. Um, this is something that I have recently been implementing to my swing. It's allowed me to one, speed my backswing up, but two, make it much more efficient. There's no stopping points to my takeaway. It's, it's a lot smoother in terms of not having any hiccups. Now, the first way I implemented this was I first got a, a lighter whip your shaft. This is 180 CPMs, very comparable to the, a lot of the ladies flex shafts on the market. Got into my setup, and as we said, I'm trying to first create that forward lean on the shaft. So that forward lean on the shaft, as I go right, allows the club to then rebound in the opposite direction and create that slingshot effect that we're talking about. So it goes like this, it goes forward lean, it goes rebound, and then that loads the shaft, then slingshot the head to the top. That slingshot creates a much more load through the transition. That load helps with keeping the arm loading across the chest, getting my lower body to fire in the right order, and ultimately I feel much more efficient with getting the swing started in this fashion. All of you can try this at home. If you don't have a light whippy shaft, go in your garage and grab an alignment stick. I guarantee everyone watching has one of those. Give the drill a try, just like Martin described in the tutorial and understand how to get that shaft moving much more efficiently at the start of your golf swing.